Hey everybody, so uh, I just want to make a quick video. Something happened to me last night that's been shaking me. I don't want to say shaking me, but it's been so vivid in my mind all day. Have you ever had a dream that was so real and so vivid that it, it was no difference between reality and a dream? It's like one and the same. It's so vivid. That's how weird a dream can get sometimes. But make a long story short, uh, last night I was dreaming, and in my dream, how it all started is, uh, all I see is there's, there's fire everywhere. There's people fighting in the streets to survive. Nobody had food. Nobody had homes. Everything was in chaos. And... I kind of started to notice, like, I was only looking on in the horror. Like, I wasn't sure, really. Like, I was there, and I, I didn't know. Like, I was confused, you know. But I look over next to me, and there's a little girl. She's about 10, 11. She can't be no older than 11. She had to be about 10, maybe even 9. She, she was young. And she had a little pink dress on, a little white thing in front, like a little bib thing. Like a little white, you know, like a little girl's dress. And uh, she had blonde hair. Uh, long story short, you know, I look over at her and I say, because I start to realize, you know, that I'm, it's like I'm not here. I realized like I was, it, it was like I was in the spirit. And so I looked over at her and I said, did I become a martyr? And she looked at, she turned her head, it was all slowly and slightly. She turned her head just like this and went. That's exactly how it happened. Very slow, very slight. And at that moment, I realized I was looking on at the horrors and the tribulation, but, and I had already become a martyr. Oh, she told me, I, she told me, I asked her. How did I become a martyr? And and I knew I lost my head. She didn't have to tell me that. I, I knew before I even asked her. I When I said, did I become a martyr? And she told me, yes. I instantly knew that they took my head. I instantly knew that. So she told me, she I, I think, or I asked her, why did they, why did I become a martyr? And she said, they killed you because you refused to bend your knees. And I thought in the dream, and I'm thinking, man, this is awesome. Like, I wasn't scared. I felt great. It was beautiful. Like, it was scary because I'm looking on at the horrors. But in my own mind, I'm thinking, I just became a martyr to Christ. I'm going to heaven. I'm every, I'm just going to look on it. There's nothing going to hurt me. Like, everything was just at peace at that moment. It was just weird. It was a weird dream, and it stuck with me all day. Very vivid. But it was scary at the same time. Like I said, you got to realize I was looking at the horrors going on around me and, every, and the people. I was scared for the people because it was bad, guys. What I saw was bad. It was bad. Fire. Every. I mean, just imagine your city and just going into town and everything is destroyed on fire. And people are just rioting and looting. Think of the stuff that was going on during the you know, Black Lives Matter or the Trump or stuff and all those... There was that was nothing compared to that. It was just total chaos everywhere you went. Fire, chaos, people trying to survive. And I was lucky enough to only have to look on in the spirit. But it was such a vivid dream and it was so real. It's kind of shook me to my core a little bit all day. I don't know if it was God telling me my future. <laughs> Or if it was just a dream. But you know, the very way that dreams work, your brain is designed to forget dreams so that you don't mix them with reality. That's the science of the brain. That's how it works. When you have a dream that's so vivid that you can't forget it, and you can remember every single detail, even two days later, or especially it's been, you know, <laughs> the last... 32 hours, 40 hours since that dream. And I still remember every detail. These are the kind of dreams to me, I believe that God are showing you things. Because I've had other dreams in my life. Like I saw 9-11. I didn't see uh, airplanes crash. 
I saw, I was standing on the end of the New York Bridge. I saw the entire city on fire. I saw the water wrapping around the city. So I knew I was in New York and everything was just pure, that dark smoke. Everything was dark and there was helicopters flying around. That's all I saw. I didn't see any airplanes. But anyway, to end the thing, because it was never about that. I'm just saying that's like, that dream too, though, was very vivid to me. And I still remember every detail to this day. And that was something that happened six months before 9-11. So it's like there are dreams I believe God are, give us, you know. And the Bible talks about it. And in the end times, he'll give old man dreams and young man visions or vice versa, whatever it said. But there are things that God gives us. And there's no way I could have saw 9-11 the way I saw it if that didn't come from God. And I don't know if last night's dream or not was from God, but it was scary and it was exhilarating and awesome at the same time. Anyway, here's your brother uh, in Christ, Mike. I love you all. Have a good night.